watch this gauge here. Here, get a close up. So you adjust your regulator until this is showing pressure. Keep it below 400, like it says right there. There you go. And take your rocket. Okay, so that was at 200, as you can see. I'm gonna turn it up a little more. To, uh, was that 360 about? Give that a go. That's when we cut the tail off so it just drops down there. Fire test two, ready? Three, two, one. Pretty solid. PSI. You good? Mm hmm. Oh, and this is back down to 220. Aim up a little more on this one. Shoots pretty true. Alright, so if you wanted to take this in half, there's where it screws in half, obviously. But first you gotta take these pipes out, or the hose fittings out. So right here is one that you take off, and you just simply push it in, pull it out, like so. If you want it back in, all you do is just shove that shit in there. Good. This one up here is a little different. You got a little tool hole right there. Stick anything, like a toothpick or something down there, it'll release the push the push hose clamp and this will just pull out but you'll feel it click sort of when you hit that little hole right there then both your hoses will be undone you can undo the middle here another trick quick tip i found you can just unscrew this slightly and just unscrew from there and this will stay fixed so if you can carry a flathead with you that's pretty easy uh, don't take it over 400 psi because that's what the regulator in here is rated to it says online they usually go about 200 higher than that but don't take your chances this regulate in here it regulates it down to 110 psi which goes into your trigger releases there comes back to the pneumatic disc cylinder there which hits the ball valve um, here's your regulator i have a quick disconnect on there right now but you could take this guy out and replace it with anything 12 gram 20 ounce whatever um, it's pretty basic fittings. If you wanted to adjust the handle, you just loosen your hose clamp there, scoot it forward a little bit. I left you a little extra slack in the lines. Um, yeah, same thing with this. You can scoot it a little bit. This one doesn't have as much play because you have to adjust the uh, top of the pneumatic cylinder there. But yeah, other than that, pretty simple. Another thing I forgot to mention, uh, underneath the back there, you had a uh, safety blow-off valve. I set it at like 390 PSI. If you ever want to set it higher for whatever reason or lower, spray some soapy water on it with a mist bottle or whatever, and then you set it with an Allen key. If you're tightening it, it means it's going to be a higher PSI blow-off. If you loosen it, it's going to be a lower PSI blow-off. So basically where I have it set right now is where you want to keep it because it keeps it at that 400 without going over it and damaging this second regulator inside here. All right, we're aiming for that trash can. You good? Ready? Or now it's up close, yeah, 380 more like.
Is you got it. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, that was... And the deluxe shot, the triple. <laughs> rockets for the same price of one. <laughs> oh geez. It's hard to get them in there, even you know. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ready to shoot? Oh yeah, let's do it. I think I am. Am I loaded? Yep. Firing. Firing. Oh. I think I'm gonna try a double. Ready? Firing. <laughs> Sometimes when you shoot the ball valve, you'll see it'll get a little stuck forward. You just kind of got to give it a little knock, and it's not bad. You'll still be able to fire, but... Big one. Oh! <laughs> so even the quick reloads work pretty damn good. You can pop them in there quick. Oh yeah.